Here it is. It's time. Oh, so crazy. Everything they said was not like a beat. Because it's time for the Uso. You cannot stop the Usos when they get crazy. Because when you try, there's just going to be pain. These Samoan brothers know how to fight. They are former tag team champions. And believe me, they're going to try to win those back. This following message has been brought to you by the NWO. Here we go. Let's get it. It's the NWO, the Outsiders, Kevin Nash and Scott Hall, both of the greatest superstars of all time. Believe me when I say this is going to be a fight. This is not just going to be some squash matchup. We are having fast-paced action here tonight. None of that slow momentum. This is all fast. This is all going down. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to stay tuned. Because we have a preview of something that's going to be happening sooner or later. Or a preview or a preview of a channel. So make sure you tune in. But it's the outsiders. Can they defend the titles? Oh, we see new tag team champions. Let's get it. It's time. It's finally time. Let's go. The bell rings. And it's time for Kevin Nash and Jimmy Uso to start things off in this amazing tag team matchup boy am i excited for this jimmy and jay the usos versus the outsiders here at battleground you guys have been wondering what is going on around here and of course the views on wcw and emw aren't as big aren't as huge as some of the other stuff but to be honest let's be real y'all you guys, I see, I saw, when I saw Money in the Bank, the views were just like, back and forth. I didn't even know what was going on, but there was a lot of views. That's all that counts. And I'm glad you guys stick to the, to the end of most of my videos. All right, here we go. Oh, what a nice move by Jimmy Uso. And of course, we're going to try to get that mic for streams. Uh-oh. What the? What? Okay. Oh, what a nice punch in the face. Oh, and a nice reversal by Jimmy Uso. Oh, Jimmy Uso just gets flattened. Taken out. Destroyed. There are a lot of ways I can describe what just happened. Oh, no. What a nice move. What an amazing move by Jimmy Uso. And the tag made the J Uso. And now here we go, the Usos. Both of them are very good in the ring. Don't lie. Oh, both of these guys might be jobbers in real life. But in EMW and WCW, the, the series, these guys can fight harder than anybody in this ring. Ah, uh, they're about to show you why. They're about to show you why. Oh, a nice top rope move. Amazing top rope move, might I add. And a nice clothesline by Razor Ramon Scott Hall. Whatever you want to call him, he's the same dude. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh. Oh, super kick, but that didn't happen. That didn't happen whatsoever. At Scott Hall and Razor Ramon tagged in Kevin Nash. And here comes Jey Uso back in this ring. Slapping. Oh, he's trying to go for that super kick again. Super kick. Oh, but it didn't work. Oh, what the? Oh, making him bounce. Making that dude bounce. Making Jey Uso go boing. Here we go. A nice move. He's gonna try to. He's gonna try for that super kick. Warm, isn't he? 
He's in trouble. Oh, gosh. There's no way you can lift up Kevin Nash. Are you for real? This guy's a seven foot tall man. And if you heard, at a combined weight of 600 and something pounds with these two outsiders. Gosh. There's no way you're going to do that. Oh. Oh. I see you. Don't act surprised. I caught you. I saw. I see you. Trying to turn. Oh, no. Oh. I did it. Oh gosh! One, two, a kick out. That is disrespectful. Not only do you remove the turnbuckle pad, to a bit of cheatery right there, but you also just slap the mess out of Jay Uso. What kind of person are you? Oh, I know. He's a WW or WCW superstar, former WWF and WCW superstar. But the Usos are gonna fly with the Uso splash. We already have one title change tonight. Can we have a second one? One, two, a kick out. A normal kick out. Oh, Scott Hall. A nice move by Scott Hall. Oh. Oh no, what the what? That's amazing. And now he's going after Kevin Nash, Jimmy Uso. Oh, Jimmy, you have to be the most dumbest person ever. Come on, it's 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 Kevin Nash. He's no hornswoggle. Oh, right on that unpadded turnbuckle. Oh no. Oh, kick in the face. The outsiders are just. Raining house on these two. Oh, big boot missing it. Usos. Oh. And now, clothesline. Irish whip. This, everything's just happening at once. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Oh, oh no. Oh, the cover. Ah. Oh. Wait, is he still friends again? Oh, that, that's cheating. Okay. That's cheating. Yes. <laughs> okay. That happened. Wow. Okay. I don't even know what Jay's gonna do now at this point. Jay's just gonna just walk around. Oh, no. Oh, no. And a jump! Jumping off the top rope. It is Jay Uso. The cover. One, two. Ah, oh, kick out. A nice kick out, too. Oh, no. And now here we go. Ah, oh, what? And now here. Oh, a turbo. That's what you get. <laughs> That's what you get. For unpadding that turnbuckle, you just get a throw right into it. Oh, and a nice reversal by Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash is just so powerful in the ring. You're, there's no way you're going to stop him. And a big boot. A big boot right to Jey Uso. Uh-oh. Uh oh, it's time for that jackknife. Oh! Jackknife power bomb, baby! <laughs> 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 what? What was that? And now they're just gonna do the same taunt. And there we go. And a clothesline. Oh no. Or a shoulder tackle. Whatever the heck he did, I can see. That's so, that's so much happening. Like, it's just left and right. That's what fast momentum means, guys. It's just back and forth between these two tag teams. This is what the WCW tag team titles are all, all about. And there's nothing you can really do to just, you know, say that these two are, like, the weakest teams. Because 
we drafted tough tag teams. Just be real. I mean, the New York Dow Walls aren't the toughest, but they can win matches. We've seen them do it before. So here we go. All right, here we go. Picking up Kevin Nash. And, oh, a slap in the face. And a DDT. Nice move. Nice DDT. And now here we go. Picking up Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash says no. Kevin Nash. And a kick out. Oh, no. Another same taunt. What the heck? Why are they doing the same taunt over and over again? What the what? And now here we go. <gasps> Oh, a nice kick in the face. No. Oh, just dominating. And here we go. Picking up, picking up um, Jimmy Uso. And now throwing him into the corner. Throwing Kevin Nash into that unturned, unpadded corner. And here we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here we go. And a big boot. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, pointing it over. Oh no. Oh no, this is gonna be bad. This could be bad. This could be really bad. Oh no. Oh no. And a kick in the face. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh no. An unpadded turnbuckle again. What the crap's he doing? What the crap's he doing in the ring? He is like breaking the rule. And here we go. The outsiders break rules. Let's be real. They don't really care what you say or do. Oh! And now, they just want Dominus tonight. They want to go into SummerSlam as tag team champs. Go into the pre-show as tag team champs. And the pre-show will be streamed, so I think that that's going to be pretty good. I think we should stream pre-shows. I like that idea. I bet you guys do too. And now here we go. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, a nice close line. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh no. Oh no. Here it goes. Here it comes. You guys ready? It's time for that second jackknife powerbomb. Let's get it. Oh. It's over. You can ring the bell. Just ring it. It's over for this tag team and the Usos. One. Two! You've got to be kidding me. That was the second Jackman Powerbomb. How did he kick out? You've got to be kidding me now. Oh, the nice legs punch in the face. Alright, here we go. Dragging the Usos again. How did they kick out? I'm, I'm trying to wonder. Because tag team matches are always so long due to the fact that the tag team is going to come in and beat up the other one. My gosh. That's why tag team matches are so long. All right, I think it's over. I think it's over. Just ring the bell. One, two. Let's get it. Yes, yes, yes. It's Daniel Bryan. And he's going against someone we don't even know. It's a mystery opponent. And we're about to find out who it is. It could be Mizzle. It could be Dan. It could be Cesaro for all we know. Let's just find out who it's going to be. Daniel Bryan, I hope you got yourself ready. Because tonight, you're going against. Drumroll, please. Oh, shoot. Here he is. USA man. Here comes Bam. Fireworks going off. As here he is. Oh, shoot. <laughs> He's not playing around. Let's get it. Let's not waste any time in this matchup. Here it goes. Let's get started. Let's not waste any time. It's USA Man versus Daniel Bryan. Some grappling about to happen here. Some grappling action. Look at this. These guys are just going to go for it. As Daniel Bryan finally gets the pay-per-view matchup that we've waited for. Finally. All right. Clean break. Clean break. Let's get started. And immediately, a nice slam onto Daniel Bryan. Can USA Man win the pay-per-view matchup? I mean, both of these guys are very powerful in the ring. But none of them have really wrestled that well. So let's just see what happens. Oh, missed. 
missed. Here we go. Oh, Daniel Bryan reverses. I hope you like the attires of everyone. I, I, I've worked very hard on these. No joke. I, I took like three to two hours trying to do this. Two to three. And it took a long time. Gosh. I took a break from this. But here we go. Here we go. It's USA, man. It's Daniel Bryan. It's the matchup we've all been waiting for. For our entire lives. Well, not really, but you get the gist. It's time. Oh, a kick right in the leg. As you know, A-Man is just so powerful in the ring. This guy knows how to wrestle. And believe me, he's showing it now. As doing some chain grappling. Who would like to see a matchup between Jack Swagger, U.S. A-Man, Kurt Angle, and American Alpha? And also, don't forget Sergeant Slaughter. Slaughter. And, a, like, a three-man tag, six-man tag team matchup. Wouldn't that be amazing? That'd be incredible. And don't forget Kurt Angle. Don't forget Kurt Angle. We can't forget Kurt Angle. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The USA man, Kurt Angle, and Jack Swagger at WrestleMania. We don't need to be talking about WrestleMania right now. We just need to be thinking about this one matchup. It's USA man coming out, challenging Daniel Bryan. If he beats Daniel Bryan tonight, I wouldn't be very surprised, considering that Daniel Bryan couldn't even beat Dolph Ziggler. But it would be pretty, it would be pretty cool how he did beat him. So I'll give him that. Who knows? What? What? Okay. Here we go. A neck breaker. Just grappling on that neck. Daniel Bryan knows that that yes lock just goes onto the neck. Like, it hurts the, the neck. It will hurt the neck. Oh! So if you're like... You've got them locked in. They're, they can only move one arm to tap. And there's a signature right there. And here comes the taunt. Here comes the taunt. Here comes the taunt. All right. Oh, what's that? Okay, here comes the Alabama slam. Nope. Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan. The yes guy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, shoot! Oh, shoot! Oh, my gosh! Did you see that? I didn't even know what was happening until I witnessed. Oh, gosh. She could be out. I... Uh, uh, uh. A suplex from the ring to outside the ring. Gosh. That is dangerous. Highway to the danger zone right there. Oh. Nobody home. Nobody home whatsoever. Oh, no. All right, here we go. Push-ups on the body. Oh, man. Daniel Bryan reverses. Daniel, no! USA Man reverses. Matchup. Takes, takes everyone to win. Oh, wait, what? Another reversal. Why are they going so back and forth? All these matches are back and forth. Like, don't, don't even try. Gosh. Uh-oh. Finally. Oh, no! Who's gonna hit the first finisher? No one? Okay. Gosh, this match is long. And a kick out at one. Oh gosh. Oh, uh, will Daniel hit anything? That's actually a finisher. Daniel Bryan just likes to, to, to just attack his opponent, but doesn't even try to do anything. Daniel Bryan, oh my god, what are you doing? There's no way you're gonna reach him. Is he actually gonna do it? And he does it. Alright, here we go, here we go. Here we go. The yes movement. I think he's going for that, that yes lock or the running high knee. He needs to go for the running high knee. That's gonna win the matchup. Yes, I think he's going for the running high knee. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. 
He needs to go for the right hand knee. That's the only way he's going to win this matchup. Because nobody taps. Oh, no. He's not going to lose. Oh, and a kick out. A kick out. Oh, my gosh. Who is going to win? Oh, my gosh. Yes, lock. You can't win like that. I think Daniel's probably going to lose. I'm sorry, guys. He'll go for that running high knee. It's over. That's the only way you're gonna win. No, nobody taps. Only you. If someone taps, it's so rare. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Alabama slammer running on knee. What's it gonna be? Gosh. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I think it's over. Nope, Daniel's gonna reverse. Gosh, Daniel. You don't even go for the running high knee. See, look. So, gosh. This, this matchup is so cringy. The fact that Daniel Bryan might never win a matchup in the company unless he hits the running high knee. Let's be real. And now another pen. The Alabama Slam. And it's over. Thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you in part three and four tomorrow.